Hi everyone, welcome to Python learning series for network engineers. This is the third video in IP address module. Here in this video, we'll see how to get input from user and validate against the subnet and create a list of IP address, valid IP address input from the user. For that, I have a file here, 03 validate IP with subnet. And here, I'll import IP address module first. Then we'll create a while loop. while true then introduce a try and accept method for handling the errors we will take the input from user so this will prompt user for entering the IP address and we will have an exception to add some colors to the output the color coding to the output we can use colorama import and style And for the value error, we'll do a print here. Here we'll write one exit condition also, so that uh, if user gives exit, then it should come out of the script. So if IP input exit we will print exiting the script and we will come out of the script and if it is not exit we will try considering this as an IP address input from the user IP underscore address IP input let us try running it so here we are getting invalid IP and color you can see it is red color now and if I give exit this will come out of the script and let me try giving a valid IP so this is stay now we need to validate this against a particular subnet so we will consider 192.168.0.0 slash 24 as a valid subnet and here we will create one list as well so whatever input we are giving we will try logging here the valid up output subnet so i'll create one ip list here then for listing the output we will create one more condition here if equal to list then we will try printing the IP list whatever we have created now it is not appending any data to IP list we will write logic for that as well we will give a continue here and here we need to add one subnet we will call that as land subnet this is the subnet which we are going to validate against so ip ip underscore address and
so now we need to validate against this subnet so for that first whenever user enters any data we need to validate that IP is already there in the list or not if it is not there we need to append to this list and then we need to validate whether the subnet whatever user is giving is part of this list the IP whatever user is giving is part of this subnet so for that let us write a condition if IP input not in IP list and if it is not there in this list and if it is part of this subnet we need to append in this only if it meets these two conditions we will add into the list like if it is not there in this list and if it is part of this subnet so we will write one more condition here if IP input in LAN subnet we have these two conditions met then IP list dot append and the user given IP address will happen to this list so that we'll have master list with all the entries and here we'll do a print so here if it is a valid IP within this subnet and if it is not already there in this we will say okay value accepted and IP address the input whatever your user has given and here if that is not the case then we need to say there is a subnet mismatch that means it is not going to be part of this subnet if it is not part of this subnet we are going to say there is a subnet mismatch and here if it is already there in this list then we need to give another error so for that if we need to give another else which says IP already exists now let us try running it now this is prompting for IP I will give one that is an invalid IP one and here this also says it is an invalid IP that means there is some correction in the script so here under the subnet it is not going to be IP address it is going to be IP network now let us try running again 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1. and here now this is considering as a valid IP but it is not in the specific range so script is expecting it in 0 192.168 subnet and here in the list it is empty now and if I give exit this will stop executing the script now I'll give a valid IP 192.168.0.1 so we can see the message here value accepted and if I try giving list IP got updated here now I'll add another IP 192.168.0.10 that also got updated and under list 
this IP also updated 192.168.0.5 and I'll try adding this IP again 0.5 it says IP already exists and if I try giving list here now all the three IPs are there 2.168.0.12 I'll give one more IP and I'll give list to list the IPs in this way you can sort and validate all the IP address entries this is very small script you can see this is having only 27 lines of code I hope this script was helpful for you to understand how we can validate IP addresses from the user input thanks for watching see you in the next video